Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Monsignor John Hughes, parish priest, St Joseph's, Helensborough, former rector of the Pontifical Scots College, Rome. First of all, thank you for allowing me to share this moment with you and a special thanks to Jackie Bailey for nominating me to have this moment of reflection. We might be forgiven for thinking that the business of the fourth estate is somewhat dominated by discord. The media do seem to make much of disharmony. They give perhaps disproportionate airspace and volume to any jarring notes. Holding differing opinions, divergence in points of view, perhaps even sharp contrast in deeply held principles will frequently characterise general discourse. But with mutual respect and a genuine willingness to listen, dissonance needn't be the inevitable outcome. Tragically, discord is not limited to debate. Our brows are almost permanently furrowed when we flinch learning of continued strife in Ukraine and in other troubled countries. Nearer home, disharmony can seem to be the stamp punctuating so much political and social intercourse. The fourth estate might vindicate its claim. So much is indeed out of joint. On this day, the 22nd of November, the Christian community celebrates the feast of St. Cecilia. For centuries now, associated with harmony, concord, music. However strangely that came about, probably a mistranslation or carelessness in manuscript copying. The earliest English reference to Cecilia and Chaucer associate her with blindness, Cecitas, Cecilia. That paradigm shift from a connection with blindness to patronage of harmony might not be such a huge leap of faith. Having a place for insight, a sense of vision, might do a lot to avert disharmony and discord. Interestingly, the oldest purpose-built concert hall in Scotland, second oldest in the UK, was named for Cecilia here in Edinburgh, Nidri Street. Her day was marked here in Edinburgh as far back as 1696. I would like to think that in our common sense Scottish psyche, something I think reflected in the layout of this place, that is an instinct, a desire to look for concord, to work for harmony, to be in tune with the most cherished desires of our people. There's no shortage of poetry or musical compositions for this day. Pope, Dryden, Purcell, Jeremiah Clark, Handel, more recently W. H. Auden, his anthem for St. Cecilia's Day, dedicated to Benjamin Britten, prays, Cecilia, appear in visions, appear and inspire, come down, startle mortals with immortal fire. I pray that the energy and efforts of all who labour here may be inspirational for our country and fire individuals and groups to live and work in harmony in our great country. Thank you. 
Thank you, Monsignor Hughes.